This is the era of climatic change when the next generation is either going to save the earth for future generations or not. That's where we're at now. We're at the apex of the sixth extinction. Uh, it's now or never. And so people are aware in general of, of climate change. If you go back in time, there is the greatest climate change of the modern era. We call it the Holocene, the last 10, 12,000 years. There's a glacial cycle. When the glaciers melted, that, that pulses every 100,000 years. We enter the modern era, the last 10,000 years, which we are playing with now. And during that time of modernity, of the modern climate regime, there was one major climate change, a crisis, the birth of the Sahara as we know it. Um, the Sahara, 10,000 years ago, didn't look anything like this. There was sand, but it was green, and people lived in it, and it was one of the best places to live, in fact, because you had lakes in between dunes, you had fish, shells, every single animal you know from the Serengeti was here. Elephants, hippos, crocodiles, hundreds of birds. It was possible to live a life of being a hunter-gatherer and not one of a farmer or not one of a wandering pastoralist with, with cows as a way of life. And that's what happened at Gobra for 5,000 years before the pyramids were laid down. They had this idyllic life, they had this idyllic place, which looks like this now. But back then, it was a green Sahara, and a green Sahara is, is really a place to be. And so, uh, you know, this is the largest climate change. It was the most difficult thing for climatologists to model in the modern period. And once they got it right, and the monsoons from India started going further south, and they figured out how the Sahara was born 5,000 years ago, and then, then the Nile Delta became this fertile delta instead of a, a wet place that nobody could live. Pyramids were built, farming happened, uh, and, and civilization, history began uh, with this climate change. And so we're looking back at that critical time where a, a major change occurred. And, and it's easier for us to reflect on it, I think, because uh, today we are toying with climate. It is now in our hands. It, it, this has never been the case in the history of Earth, that a species has control of the planet, but what we do, and, and it's our responsibility uh, to save the planet for future generations.